This video is brought to you by Nokian Tires, a leader in safety and sustainability. Maximize performance and efficiency with their made in USA all season tires and their dedicated Hakapalita EV winter line from the inventor of the winter tire. Learn more at nokiantire.com slash EV. This video is also brought to you by Magna, forward for all. Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. You join me on a very windy and cold German night in Germany. Well, we're actually in between Stuttgart and Munich in a town called Mecklingen. And this is officially, at the time of this recording, the world's largest charging station. That doesn't mean it has the highest power. We're gonna take you on a full tour of this. I'm gonna show you all the charging points. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think this one's gonna be super long, but it is technically the highest number of charging points that I could find anywhere. And all of course the article titles say world's largest charging station. Uh, and so I'm gonna show you around this place. We're at the Mecklingen train station. It's pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> As a bus goes by and the chilly air comes in, you join me at the Mecklingen train station. It's also a park and ride. The Autobahn is right on the other side of this hill. And so it doubles as, of course, train station parking, commuter parking, but also as sort of a park and ride. If you're going on vacation with some friends, you can leave your car here. And this is officially the world's largest charging station. It has over 250 charging points, 259 to be exact, which is just crazy. And you can see they're all AC charging points, which I think is pretty freaking sweet. And so they use all of these particular units. I want to activate a charging session, see how it works, try it out. But essentially, not every charging station needs to be ultimate high power, 400 kilowatts and above uh, so let me at least walk you through the mentality of this site, why I think it works so well. And then, of course, we are going to uh, plug in and go on a quick little tour. But you can see there's solar panels all up around in here, trains going by underneath. So much hustle and bustle. I'm driving this Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. Shout out to my friends at Porsche for letting me borrow this just for the night so I could come and film this video. And a uh, huge thanks to those guys. And I'm actually only just a little bit outside of Stuttgart at the moment. But I thought, okay, we need to bring a cool car to the cool charging station. And Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo doesn't really get much cooler than this one. So let me walk you through my thought process. I'm going to sit in the car and then we're going to go and check this place out. Whoa, it's so cold out there. Two degrees Celsius at the moment. I've left the Taycan heated steering wheel on and the heat running while I was out filming. Just great. So uh, the Mecklingen train station. Uh, we are, again, just between Stuttgart and Munich, closer to the Stuttgart side. But um, what an amazing project this really is. We're starting to see parking garages, especially in Norway and in Nordic countries and other new construction have, you know, maybe one floor or one area with just a bank of EV charging. For example, I was just at the Munich airport yesterday evening and there was a whole like, I don't know, 20 or 30 charging points on the bottom two levels that you could go and park at. This is really interesting because the entire plan for this site is really future focused. The um, idea is to put a electric charging point at every single uh, parking spot, which this site does not have yet. It doesn't really quite make sense yet. And the utilization is still quite low, but this is probably one of the only sites that I think is really pushing the boundaries for what the future could look like. Now, there was another world's largest charging station before this one. Actually, we're not far away from Zeusmarshausen, one of the largest DC fast charging sites in the world up until the one I'm about to tell you about. You guys know that one. That's where the cables come down from the roof. I think I called it the most insane charging session. It's like this stretch of Autobahn. I think it's Autobahn 8 between Stuttgart and Munich just has the craziest charging infrastructure. It's amazing. And um, actually, the, the world's largest charging station uh, DC power is not far behind this one and it's in China and there's like 200 DC fast charge. And of, of course the demand on the electrical load at that site is far beyond what you need at this particular one. This one actually has, like I mentioned, solar panels. I don't know if you can see them through the glass roof, little too tinted, but solar panels that produce 
about one megawatt hour of electricity every year. Okay, they're probably gonna dispense way more than that here with these posts. I don't even know if that's a true number. That's just what I could find online. Um, but why not have solar, especially to keep the cars cooler, keep the cars protected from hail and other elements, and you can generate electricity in the process. It makes a lot of sense. So um, I also like the idea of using AC charging for applications such as this one. You park your car, you take your train to Munich, you take your train to Stuttgart, you go with some friends out to an event and leave your car here and pick it up the next day. You don't need fast charging. You just need honestly, a few kilowatts. In this case, every charging point is 11 kilowatts and 259 of them. Holy smokes. So of course, it sounds like right now the utilization, there's always spots available. You can always find places to charge your car, but there are some expansion plans that I read about, and I'm certainly going to let you know about that as well. But um, there's not a DC fast charger here. I would think maybe if they had one or two, it would kind of make sense if you're a taxi picking someone up from the train. Now I could see that making a little bit of sense, but for the most part, AC charging is the best thing ever. Um, of course, with more AC charging points can reduce our reliance on DC charging. It's better for our batteries. It's better for our grid. Um, and I think there are plans also to do some sort of bi-directional thing here. We really need to keep our eye on this particular project. My understanding, it was uh, less than two years from idea where everyone's like, no, you're crazy. You're not putting 260 charging ports into a parking lot in the middle of nowhere, Germany, to it actually happening. And so I think this is a really cool project to lead ahead. Let's go on a walk around. Let's go take a look. Um, and I want to show you the payment terminals. You can also activate on the station itself. I want to go look at the train station. Maybe we'll find some other cool things. I'm not sure. But let's go on a full tour of this Mecklingen charging park, if you will, the park and ride right off the Autobahn. It's... I've never seen so many charging points. Okay, well, the first thing I did was I grabbed the Type 2 cable out of the front trunk. Now, what's actually kind of, I guess, a good and a bad thing about the European charging system is the Type 2 cable typically are not installed on the units. You actually bring your own cable with you. Now, this is great for vandalism because there's less risk of someone driving over a cable or running into a cable and getting caught on one from a liability perspective. I don't know, bunch of different reasons why this is better as a site host. But as a user, I just had to go through the car and find the cable and untangle it. And then I'm putting a dirty cable back in my car when I'm done. So I have mixed feelings on this. I actually prefer stations that have their own cables and to take the risk off of the driver in a case like this. But okay, it works. Let's close up that front trunk there. So I've plugged in and it says something, I don't know. So this is C, or is that just the rating? Yeah, C is the rating. How do I know which one I'm charging at? EVSEID, this one ends in 0197. So I see a little payment terminal over there. I just wanna try out what this looks like. And what's cool is there's actually fiber optics running between all the payment terminals to make this work. So. Let's see, energy to go. Okay, let's play around with this. Let's put it into English. Start. Charging, yes. Uh, what did I say? 193, right? Okay, that's us. Please follow instructions on the card reader. Okay, it says something. I'm not sure. Amount on the card reader will be reserved. Ah, okay, 50 euros. That seems quite expensive to do a pre-authorization, but I think I can also, whoops, come on, let's focus. I think I can also do some other things. Now, my Apple card doesn't necessarily tap, but I can Apple Pay. So I'm gonna Apple Pay and see if that works. Okay, well, I have clicked with my Apple Pay to go ahead and it says authorization approved. It's 42 cents per kilowatt hour. Again, electricity here is more expensive than home in the US. That's more expensive than some of our DC fast charging rates. But uh, I just charged at a NB Bay station recently and um, yeah, receipt via email. Okay, let me just type this in. Okay, and charging process has started. I put in my email. These all have to comply with uh, government regulations, of course. The Tycon has gone red which doesn't indicate like it's a good sign. So I'm not sure if I took too long and the car just faulted out. Let's see if I can maybe try to initiate a charging session again with this one, if that might work. Okay, let's see. Did I say 193? No, 197. Is that what we clicked? I don't actually remember. 
Um, yeah, so I'm already slightly confused. But you know what I will try is, I think we've seen that process. It definitely reserved the money on my card. Sorry, you know, whoever plugged in, you're welcome for the free juice. But I think I can also tap like a normal charging card and that worked perfectly. So I believe these also roam with like an Ionity card or this was the Porsche charging service card. And that's a really common thing for EV drivers in Europe to have. However, if you have a rental car or something, it does seem like you can at least pay with a credit card but I don't know, the Porsche went red. This says it's charging. Let's make sure it's actually charging. There we go, 10.4 kilowatts. I do have this thing pretty much full charged at the moment, but it is juicing up. Okay, well, I would say as long as you have a charging card, that's not bad. And if you select the correct station and you don't wait too long, maybe that's also not bad. Maybe the trick is to plug into the station, don't plug in the car, activate it, and then go. Either way, we are juicing. So it works. And there are just hundreds, literally, of these charging points all around this entire parking lot. So if you multiply 258 chargers times the 11 kilowatts each one can do, that's about 2.8 mega megawatts of power, which really isn't all that much considering, um, you know, what like a DC fast charging site will do. So I would say this is comparable to a normal maybe pretty big Tesla supercharging site with 15 or 20 or 25 stalls, plus or minus. And here we can service over 200 cars with these low power points. So it really shows that the less or the more AC infrastructure that we install, the less we have to rely on DC infrastructure. You can see there's the train station. They have e-bike charging and parking inside as well, which is pretty cool. And the train station is actually, I think, across a bridge. So I'm not going to go over there, but this is what I care about, the parking lot. And you can see here's all the charging points. Then you have a post where you would pay. And so they have posts all sort of localized out, which is pretty cool. And it just goes on and on and on and on, all of these chargers. And I really like the idea of using, you know, one post with four chargers on it. That seems to work great. So really smart. Is this an EV? No, that's just a Toyota Igo. Ago. There are no EVs here at the moment. That's kind of sad. So someone really had a vision, and at least at the moment, no one's using them. <laughs> so uh, cool. Let me give you my final thoughts on an installation like this. Just a quick video, but man, I figured you guys had to see it because we're always on the hunt for the coolest charging stations, and this definitely has to be up there for one of the coolest installations for sure that I have ever, ever seen. This is pretty freaking next level. Uh, and by the way, I mentioned some expansion plans. These uh, parking spots on both sides are going to come in the future once the utilization of this side starts increasing, which I guess according to some sources, it already is increasing, not according to right now, but it's also, you know, nine o'clock at night on a well, it is a weekday, but at nine o'clock at night, it's not like many people are traveling anymore. It's not a work day where they take the train in. However, they are going to add battery backup storage, which I think will help with the solar, taking the energy, putting it into the battery, and then dispensing it into the cars through the battery. And all of these will come off the battery as well, because I think they maxed out their grid connection with this one. So pretty cool charging points, pretty cool situation. Let's uh, wrap up the video. Well, there you guys have it. That is the new... Mecklingen Charging Park. Just finished about eight weeks ago or so, and we're able to come here and take a look at it. We typically don't cover AC charging installations on this particular site just because I've never really seen anything like this. But again, the more AC charging we have, the more capital can be put into charging more cars, just slower. We can charge more vehicles. It can be easier on our grid, can be cleaner, greener, and cheaper. So who doesn't love a bunch of AC chargers around to alleviate some pressure on the DC units? I certainly do. And I can't thank you guys enough for watching this video with me and checking out the world's largest charging station. I'm actually off in the Taycan right now to go check out more chargers. What a surprise. So see you at another site soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.